Let me see if Chet's willing to pose for pictures. I know lollipops didn't usually uh, have men in their magazines, but maybe I can change that. Hey, you looking Chet. to buy some supplies? Uh, not really, but I wanted to ask you if you wanted to pose for my magazine. Why the hell would I want to do that? 50 caps and free publicity for the store. Right. Let's go. Ha! <laughs> that easy, huh? Hey, Chet, do you mind if I put a poster up? This place does a steady business with both locals and travelers, and Chet doesn't mind if you put up a flyer. Alright, thanks. Howdy. Nice. Okay, I should probably put one up in the saloon. Oh, hey, Easy Pete. Howdy. You ever heard of Lollipops Magazine? I'm making one with male models. You should pose. Kids these days, no respect for the elderly. Oh, come on, I'm serious. You look like you stay in great shape for a guy your age. Yep, it's safer that way. Then how about it? My studio is just up the road in Mountain Springs. That's too much running for an old man. We can shoot right here if you'd prefer. I always carry a camera for on-site ph photography. Guess you know what you're doing. Get ready. Here comes the boom! All right. <laughs> You're supposed to take it all off, man. Yep. Great job. Uh, hey Trudy, do you mind if I put a poster up? This place does a steady business with both locals and travelers, and Trudy doesn't mind if you put up a couple flyers. Thanks, Trudy. Um, I wanted to ask you something else, though. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I mean, I'm fine, but uh, I could use your help. I promise no shooting this time. What can I do for you? I need beautiful women to pose for the new Lollipops magazine. Really? I can take care of that. Are we on the same page? I don't need help with recruiting this time. I want you to be in it. Sure, I'm game. All right, sweet. My studio's right over in Mountain Springs. Uh, let's meet up there. I'm gonna get some of the others. I'm with you. Hey, Doc Mitchell. How are you holding up? I, I'm okay, but uh, I was wondering, I got lollipops back into publishing, and I was hoping you could lend me a hand. Lollipops? Sure, I can help you out. Actually, this is about uh, having male models. I want you to pose for me. Hmm, I ain't got much with my bum leg. Don't sell yourself short. Some people find older men extremely sexy. Like me. Well, I take pride in my cock. All right, then. Studio's right up the road in Mountain Springs. I'll meet you up there. Okay. All right, I'm going to go talk to Sunny. See if she'll pose. How are you? Hey, Sunny. Huh? You know Lollipops, the big pre-war publisher? They're back in business and I'm the manager. Might not make much of a difference around here. Sure, but a popular model can rally more aid than a politician, and you'd be very popular. Say no more. I'm in. All right. Hilly did great with the studio. All right, let me get some pics. You gotta do something, Chet. 
Oh, uh, come on, Trudy. I bet you look great with it all off. You got some moves, though. Damn, Doc Mitchell, I didn't realize you were hiding that. I'm... I can see why you're proud. Come on, Sonny, take it off. All right, you did a great job, Sonny. Hey, Handy. Yes, mistress? You up for taking some pictures? I would be honored. To witness the rebirth of something dead for two centuries is inspiring. To participate approaches the divine. All right. Damn, Handy, you got some moves. Thanks, Handy. You did a great job. Of course, Mistress. Hey, Doug. What's up? You want to post for the magazine? I'll give you an extra 50 caps. 50 caps? You've got yourself a deal. All right. Hey, Debbie. It's down. Buy me a drink. Well, I'll give you 50 caps if you post for the magazine. There's no employee discount. You pay me the same, you pay the rest of them. Of course, Debbie. All right. Let's do it. Damn, you look good, Doug. Great work, Debbie. Ah, uh, you know what? I should read these terminals before I publish a magazine. Lollipops, the finest in adult entertainment. Read me for new editorial staff. Welcome to the Lollipops editorial staff. Picking the right mix of models greatly influences circulation. Try to stick with our tried and true formula. 1. Covers sell magazines. Broad appeal doesn't necessarily mean the prettiest face or the biggest or Covers featuring a celebrity or a model with a hook can easily double the sales of an issue. 2. Open strong. The foreplay pictorial is the first thing readers will see. Get them excited with some eye candy up front. 3. Close sleazy. When readers get to the big finish pictorial, they don't want to stop stroking and flip back to the other models. Send them off with the one who most personifies sex, sex, sex. 4. Theme issues are always popular. Exclusively featuring models with a shared hometown, occupation, or other affiliation is sure to sell. Kodak A30XS Camera the Lollipops editorial staff recommends the Kodak A30XS compact camera for extreme portability and high quality where rugged, inconspicuous design and quick shooting are advantageous. State-of-the-art analog imaging technology allows a virtually unlimited number of photographs to be taken without time-consuming film changes. Images can be downloaded to a compatible layout terminal at any time. See memo from Miss Stone regarding First Amendment protection of artistic photography in jurisdictions where decency statutes prohibit public nudity. Compositron algorithm. This terminal puts Lollipop's advanced compositron technology at your fingertips without noisy robots. The patented compositron algorithm will automatically place the model in a setting from stock art or environment photographs you provide. Oh, so Lollipop's does have a He3 magazine. I'll definitely be using that in addition to the regular one. I should get more models before I publish an issue. Lollipops, the finest in adult entertainment. Email, Hilly. Great party. Hey buddy, just wanted to drop a note and say thanks. You always throw a great party, but I might not be back that, out that way for a while. Nothing against Debbie, but let me know when you get some variety back on the menu. JT. Oh, he was the guy that gave us the flyer to send us here. Just go to Lollipop Saloon. It's on Route 160. Folks around here call it Blue Diamond Road. Email Angel. Financial records. Posters up four. Pros working two. Customers yesterday one. Profit loss yesterday negative 96. Shares owned at close 50. Net income negative 48. 
Share price, 97. Oh, wait, there's the terminal handy was using. Let's see, some of these were on the other terminal. Our reputation is shit. There's always some bunch of Puritans trying to censor our films and magazines, or boycott our clubs. Fortunately, the executive, legislative, and judicial branches are all represented on our VIP client list. But, uh, I haven't read the others. Lollipops, the finest in adult entertainment. Email. Luma screens. Attention all franchise managers. Don't worry about returning any excess Luma screens from the recent shipment. The vendor f***ed up the order quantity, but after Stoney raked them over the coals, we kept the lot for pennies on the dollar. Had you previously declined to deploy them due to the expense, this is an opportune time to try them out. They can display full-color artwork and photographs for indoor ambience or outdoor marketing. Refer to the manual for installation and setup. Larry Slater, CEO. Sneak preview. Do not forward. Getting ready to print advanced copies of Bruni's book. Thought you'd want a sneak peek before she dishes the dirt on a couple of your favorite people. Obviously, do not forward this to anyone or it's both our asses. Chris Henning, General Manager, Lollipops Print Services. Oh wait, I remember reading this from the Lollipops in DC. People assume Brunhilde Van Dyke is a cheesy stage name. I'm a lesbian and I'm built like a Valkyrie. It's not. My parents are Dutch and love Wagner. Lots of immigrants work in the biz. No Anglo-Saxon surname required. Yeah, it's Bruni's memoir, and she mentions Ginger Root, Fresco Coy, and some other celebrities. Another peek. Do not forward. Here's another chapter from Bruni's book. Mo made foul shots in the studio at your club, right? Anything like this happen? Again, do not forward this to anyone. Chris Henning, General Manager, Lollipops Print Services. One more. Do not forward. Okay, one more. Looks like you might see even more excitement than usual over there in Vegas. As usual, do not forward. Chris Henning, General Manager, Lollipops Print Services. Wow, this guy's quite a leaker. Oh, that's right. Bruni didn't think Fresca Koi killed herself. She was a longtime user. She knew her tolerance. So what do I believe? I believe somebody out there knows the truth. That's why I'm petitioning the Las Vegas PD to reopen the case. That's the woman that uh, Handy wanted to find out about. I'll have to look into it. If it wasn't a suicide, then someone must have killed her. Urgent. Morning news. I urge all managers and staff to maintain a calm, professional attitude during this difficult time. The board has full confidence that Mr. Slater will be cleared of any wrongdoing. Please refer any press inquiries to my office. Sam Farouk, VP Public Relations, Lollipops Incorporated. Oh, this must have been one of the times Larry was arrested. In early October 2077, my company was raided by federal agents. Our relationship with censors and politicians was always adversarial, so I thought little of it. Until I learned the charge this time was capital treason. Sinking ship. Did you see Sam's email? What a joke. Stock down 30. No bottom in sight. I love the boss, but he's f***ed. Feds don't scream treason unless they can prove it. I put in my two-week notice. Got a gig over at Cat's Paw. Any club on the strip would jump at somebody with your experience, but if you want to get into the magazine business, I'll gladly give you a reference. Chris Henning, General Manager, Lollipops Print Services. Oh, this was the last time Larry was arrested, right before the bombs fell. Adult Entertainment News Archive. Holovid Reviews, 2060-2069. Oh, there's no way we have working holotapes of these. These reviews are probably going to be the closest I get. This is awesome. 
All right, let me just uh, lean back and relax and read through all these. Models in Motion, 2060. Models in Motion, 2060. One factor in Lollipop Magazine's rapid rise into the elite tier of adult publications was the availability of behind-the-scenes videos from their photo shoots. They normally featured languid 3D pans over gorgeous curves, but this one pushed the envelope. Double D first coaxes Lollipop of the Year, Lena Elsker, into playfully making out, then some serious heavy petting, and finally to what Elsker later admitted was a real orgasm. It outsold the print copy, brought screen sex out of CD theaters and to millions of homes, and sparked the adult Holovid revolution. The Red Menace, 2061 an irreverent attitude towards war propaganda, unprecedented explicit sex, and mass market distribution made this hollow central to the Supreme Court's landmark 2063 pornography case. Ginger Roop plays an insatiable bitch better than anybody, and she manhandles Dom Atomic's bumbling federal agent with ease. Viewers who only know Fresca Coy as a director are in for a treat. Her performance in this early role as Dom's spunky rookie sidekick is very spunky indeed. Foul Shots, 2063 The first hollow in director Mo Lester's classic sports trilogy introduces us to the Pep Squad, who will do anything for basketball team captain Farisa Chombo. In the amazing climax, Jerry Riggs gets a real workout, a locker room gangbang by all five first-string players, Chombo, Dom Atomic, Dick Raines, Fillmore Wadsworth, and Tom Katz. Foul Balls, 2064 America's sluttiest cheerleaders are back to service the baseball team in the second installment of director Mo Lester's sports trilogy. Even jocks will appreciate this math problem. How does 32 into 64 equal 3? When 5'4 Bunny Hopper gets triple penetrated by the outfielders, Dom Atomic, Farisa Chombo, and Tom Katz. It adds up to a stiff 32 inches of men inside a hot 64 inches of woman. Personal Fouls, 2065 the final chapter of director Mo Lester's classic sports trilogy sees everyone's favorite cheerleaders take on the entire football team in one uninterrupted orgy sequence. In a stroke of genius, Lester dressed his camera operators in sports journalist costumes and had all eight record continuously as they roamed the set so you don't miss a single thrust. Ladies Night, 2066 Larry Slater and company play merry with the cliché that porn actresses turn to mild girl-on-girl -girl scenes as their careers wind down. This all-star cast is clearly just getting started, and with Mo Lester directing, there's never a mild moment. Viewers who enjoy pendulous 3D ball s swinging in their faces can skip this one. For everyone else, it's a must-see. Double Trouble, 2068. Fresca Coy's acclaimed directorial debut already has the hallmarks of her later work. A tight story that doesn't get in the way of the sex, and a style your wife or the guys at the stag party will find equally stimulating. It scored Coy a pervy nomination for Best Director, and she won Best Supporting Actress for her filthy performance as Double D's accommodating best friend. D is at her hottest, reminding us, with the help of Dom Atomic and Tom Katz, that her nickname is about more than her t Oh man, I wish we had recordings of these. They sound amazing. <laughs> Holovid Reviews 2070 to Present Vault Boys Day Off 2070 the top-grossing adult hollow of all time and winner of seven pervy awards, including Best Director for Fresca Coy, the first for a woman. No surprise, Ginger Root plays a bitch. Surprise, her comeuppance is more enlightening than humiliating. No surprise, 
Dom Atomic is a f***ing machine. Surprise? He can also act. No surprise, Double D won Best Supporting Actress. Surprise! Gay porn icon Andy Guinness won Best Supporting Actor. And when you see his performance, you will shit your pants. No surprise, vault Tech sued Lollipops for trademark infringement. Surprise, Lollipops won. Okay, that was a lot, <laughs> but it seems like it was amazing. I'm already impressed with uh, Fresca Koi. Um, apparently her acting was just as good as her directing. I also like the idea that it's just a straight up good movie, but it's also just has a lot of sex. I'm guessing they won the court case because it was about the concept of vaults, but not vault tech specifically. Plus, uh, I'm assuming that they had some kind of parody defense. Sphincterella, 2071. With Fresca Koi's second straight pervy for Best Director and Lita Lowe's scorching screen debut, what more could you ask for? How about Tom Katz nearly breaking his neck in a wild threesome with Ginger Root and Double D, for which he won Best Supporting Actor? And an uncredited cameo by porn patriarch Larry Slater. The Lineup, 2072. Mo Lester's return to pervy dominance after two straight Best Director snubs. Some felt Lester copied a page from Fresca Koi's style playbook, but the substance is pure Mo. Two rape scenes and nympho newcomer Sasha squealing and squirming as she gets drilled by a lineup of porn's biggest shafts will satisfy even his most hardcore fans. Questions about the authenticity of the diminutive import's birth certificate only added to the Hollow's popularity, and are still unresolved due to political tensions with Eurasia. Oh, I remember reading about this. Moa was a piece of shit. He was a plagiarist, a creep, and possibly a human trafficker of an underage girl. Critics said he took inspiration from Fresca's success. Bullshit. The liar is a flagrant copy of Sphincterella. The only difference? Fresca's erotic passion and sense of humor are replaced by Moe's misogynistic violence. 19th Hole, 2075. Many considered Fresca Coy's final hollow a disappointment after her run of four pervies for Best Director in the previous five years. Written directed by and starring Koi, who was also executive producer, it was seen as a vanity project or an ambitious experiment that failed to deliver. To be sure, it defies the familiar lube stroke repeat formula, but real sex seldom has that kind of artificially consistent rhythm. Real sex is sometimes challenging and uncomfortable, just like this hollow. It isn't a porno with too much talking, it's Citizen Kane with the sex scenes uncut. I really like the nuance that this reviewer is putting into these descriptions. I remember hearing a lot of bad things about this one, but it sounds like it might have just been trying to do something new. Casting Call, Volume 1, 2076. After losing Mo Lester and Fresca Koi, Lollipop Holovid's stranglehold on the pervies appeared to weaken, and upstart director Jeremy Peterman's vision of improv porn seemed like a recipe for disaster. Instead, unknown actresses having unscripted sex shot on location with consumer-grade equipment and a minimal crew caused pants around the globe to explode. Uh-oh, someone tapping into the amateur porn market. Oh, right, yeah, I read these ones. The court wants to subsidize niche players were up to the challenge. But the great part is, the same court that tried to shut us down in 62 basically just ordered America to make more porn. Adult Entertainment News, February 2077. The industry is still mourning the loss of renowned actress and director Fresca Coy, who was found dead in a Las Vegas hotel room from an apparent drug overdose last month. Las Vegas Sun Archive. 
A Nevada Highway Patrol spokesperson confirmed today that a multi-agency task force is making new inquiries into the January death of award-winning adult Hollywood director Fresca Coy, but declined further comment. Coy was found dead in her Las Vegas hotel room on the eve of the Purvies, an annual adult film award ceremony. She had not directed since the negative reaction to her final film, 2075's 19th Hole. Her death was attributed to an accidental overdose of prescription antidepressants, but rumors of suicide were widespread. A high-ranking Las Vegas PD official speaking anonymously told The Sun that efforts are being coordinated by NHP's Clark County office because new evidence requires investigation outside the jurisdiction of city police. The official denied the case was reopened due to the imminent publication of an autobiography by Coy's longtime companion, Brunhilde Van Dyke, who has publicly questioned the official account of Coy's death, but acknowledged Miss Van Dyke's diligent efforts to shift the focus from Miss Coy's reputation to the pertinent facts. Oh, that's great. We're really close to Vegas. We might be able to find that case and find the leads. That's what... That's what Handy wanted me to do. So that's what she was talking about when she said an article gave her hope. She must have realized that that meant there was information on Fresca Coy's death right here in Vegas. All right, went through the archive. Uh, wow, there are a lot of suspects for this. You know what? I want to try that password, see if I could go down this tunnel. Okay, it worked! I wonder where this leads. Oh yeah, it's a whole railway. Huh. I could travel and go north? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess let's go. Let's go. Let's see how far we can go. Oh, shit. Wait. Beware, slavers. There have been a number of disappearances lately. There are rumors from across the wasteland that a new slaver gang is operating near Good Springs. Be on your guard if you encounter any of them. There is that guy in Good Springs who might be a slaver. Ugh, fuck, I need to take care of that before I go anywhere. I can't believe I forgot about that. Crap, 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 he might already have left. Handy, there's an actual slaver situation, so I'm going to have to have you wait in the house. Alright, I should tell Handy and the stag to wait at the house. Hi there. You two should wait here. I don't want you to get your wires crossed from BDSM slavery and actual slavery. Yes, mistress? Wait here. This stag is eager for action. If you're gone more than a day or two, it could become restless and difficult to control. Well, you're able to handle it, right? Okay, Gecko Bob told me that someone was hanging around Victor's shack. Uh, hi. You must be him. Hey there, how you doing? Uh, do you know anything about slavers operating nearby? I ain't heard nothing, so you don't need to worry about any slavers around here. But I did see a dead nightkin nearby. That might be worth a look. A nightkin. I saw a few the other day. You know what? If they're not willing to communicate, they may be the cause. I'll go take a look. Slavers, my ass. Some crazy Superman is probably taking people. Lucky it's dead now. Because you have the directions. 
Oh, okay. Uh, did you kill it? Uh, I'll, I'll go take a look. <sighs> okay. Thank goodness it's not slavers, though. That's a real bullet to dodge. Should be over here from what he said. To the rock, maybe? Oh, ah! fuck! 